video and in this video I'm going to show you how to shoot at night and edit using Lightroom on your smartphone. If you want to see more videos like this please be sure to subscribe and I'll be sure to provide content regularly. Now I'm in an alleyway at this moment and I want to take a photo using my iPhone as you can see. So I'm gonna open up my camera app and uh, actually the iPhone can shoot in RAW but you need an external app but I'm just using regular camera app right now and uh, what I'm gonna do is after composing I'm going to place my finger on the highlights and what that's gonna do is that's gonna make the it's gonna expose for the highlights and that's what I want it's okay if the rest of the picture is dark but if you expose for the highlights it makes it much easier later when you're editing because it's much easier to expose to uh, take out the detail from the shadows and the darks than to try and take detail out of highlights that are overblown so I'm doing that a few times all right so now comes the fun part I'm using my iPhone 7 to edit this photo but if you have any smartphone you can pretty much do the same thing uh, like I said there is no excuse uh, Here's Lightroom CC. Yeah, you can actually download it for free. And I'm opening it up. Here is our photo. Now, as you can see, all the information in the highlights is preserved. And I know the photo looks really dark, but that's okay. Because it's easier to take information out of the blacks and the shadows than it is to get any information from the highlights. So if I were to have shot this as a normal picture, uh, I would have had real hard time getting those colors from the bright areas but we can bring the shadows back. Now, I'm gonna open up the light panel and if you know my channel, you know I like to decrease the highlights and increase the shadows. This just gives it a more dynamic range and uh, we're gonna start by increasing the contrast and the blacks boost it all the way. We're gonna increase the whites until it gets to a color I mean, until it gets to a brightness that's uh, that looks good. So I think 74 looks good. Now I'm gonna start to decrease the contrast until the photo looks the way I want it to. So it looks it looks good to my eyes right there. Now I'm gonna go to a temperature, and uh, I want it to look a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna decrease the temperature. Negative 10 looks good. The tint, maybe, but right now I'm liking the way it is, and uh, that looks good. Now, I'm gonna decrease the clarity because I like when there's a little kind of glow around the neon lights, and I'm gonna give it a vignette, something like negative 15. There, I'm liking it already, but this is kind of like a red light district. And I want to emphasize that by uh, giving it a little kind of red tone to the shadows. So that's what we're going to do. Just find something to your liking. Okay. Okay, that's looking a little bit cooler now. And by cooler, I mean I like the way it looks, not temperature wise. So maybe that's too red. Bring it down a notch. And that looks good. I mean, I like the way that looks. The highlights, I, I could give it some kind of crazy colors if I wanted, but to be honest, I like the whites the way they are right now. So let's see what else we can do. Let's go to the mixer. I think we could play with the colors a little bit. Now this is to your liking, but actually I like the green the way it is. But that yellow, hmm, actually that yellow looks is fine also, but this is all hit or miss, the way you want to do it. So I do like that kind of hot pink, so I'm going to, it's a little too saturated, I'm going to reduce the saturation, and I'm going to increase luminance, make it a little bit brighter. Okay, now. What else can we do? Actually, 
I would like to increase the saturation a little bit. Not too much. Where is it? Here we go. It's going to give a little kick. And there we go. That's a pretty decent looking photo, I might say. I like it. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, iPhone editing tutorial. And uh, the thing is, you don't need Lightroom to do this. You can do this with almost any app. You can download whatever editing app. And they all pretty much do the same thing. And they all have channel mixers and temperature and messing with the contrast and saturation. So it's to your liking. And the reason I did this video is to show that you don't need an expensive DSLR or just whatever expensive camera you want to buy to take these kind of photos. You can start taking them right now. As you saw, I took this photo with my phone. And you could, I could do the same thing if you gave me a film camera or any camera, really. So no excuse. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I will try to make more videos. And thank you very much for watching. See you around.